In this lecture, we are going to discuss mechanism, antimicrobial spectrum, and the adverse effects of the daptomycin. So let's get started. First of all, we will discuss the mechanism of the daptomycin. That how daptomycin actually disrupt the cell membrane of the bacteria. So if you see here, this one is the cell membrane of the bacteria. It has two component phospholipid. Okay, this one green color is actually the phospholipid bilayer, and in between them you will also see the phosphatidylglycerol. So here in the blue color you will see the phosphatidyl glycerol so here are basically the two component phospholipid and the phosphatidyl glycerol phosphatidyl glycerol has basically negative charge on it that is the important thing okay if someone take the daptomycin that is actually lipopeptide in nature so this one if someone take the daptomycin it has basically two component okay this one is the daptomycin it has two components lipid component and the peptide component so that's why we called it lipopeptide in nature okay now this daptomycin will bind to the calcium okay this will bind to the calcium having two positive charge okay so here here you see the formation of the complex of the daptomycin with the calcium now overall complex having positive charge okay as we have discussed that the phosphatidyl glycerol having negative charge okay so in the membrane you will see the phosphatidyl having the negative charge on it okay so this complex having positive charge will move towards the negative phosphatidyl glycerol okay and ultimately you will see the daptomycin complex will move towards the phosphatidyl glycerol and ultimately you will see the oligomerization that process is actually called the oligomerization combination of the different monomers of the daptomycin complex and you will see the insertion of this complex in the upper layer of the cell membrane that is the first step next you will see the movement of the daptomycin complex into the lower layer of the cell membrane okay next process you will see this one this is the phospholipid okay you will also see the presence of the phosphatidylglycerol pg and you will also see the daptomycin complex in both layers upper layer you will also see the presence of the daptomycin complex and in the lower layer you will also see the presence of the daptomycin complex and in the last step you will see due to the presence of the daptomycin complex in the cell membrane you will see the formation of the hole okay and that is the most important thing from the hole you will see the leakage of the different cations like the potassium okay from the bacteria you will see the release of the cation specifically the potassium from the bacteria and ultimately you will see the death of the bacteria and consequently you will also see the inhibition of the dna rna and the protein synthesis so that is the mechanism of the daptomycin that how daptomycin basically disrupt the cell membrane and ultimately you will see the killing of the bacteria it is actually concentration dependent bactericidal effect okay next if we look at the spectrum of the daptomycin so basically daptomycin cover the gram positive bacteria okay that is actually for the gram positive bacteria it will give the different coverage of the bacteria like the streptococcus 
स्ट्रेप्टो कॉकस डेट्स इंक्लूड स्ट्रेप्टो कॉकस एस पायोजीन एस ए ग्लेक्टी एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पेनिसिलीन रेजिस्टेंस स्ट्रेप्टो कॉकस नमूनी पेनिसिलीन रेजिस्टेंस स्ट्रेप्टो कॉकस नमूनी ओके and it will also give the staphylococcus or staphylococcus coverage and most important includes MRSA MRSA that is the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus that is the most important thing or most specific action of the daptomycin and it will also give the coverage for the enterococcus species most important you will see the vre vre vancomycin resistance enterococcus okay so here are basically the different coverage of the daptomycin and it can also give the coverage for the corine bacterium corine bacterium so this is the antimicrobial spectrum of the daptomycin most important thing which you have to remember about the daptomycin please do not use daptomycin for the pneumonia because there is a reason behind it as we know that the lungs in the lungs you will see the presence of the surfactant surfactant okay so basically when the patient take the daptomycin for the pneumonia, surfactant will inactivate the daptomycin. When you will see the inactivation of the daptomycin, then there will be no action of the daptomycin. So that's the important thing which you have to remember about the daptomycin is inactivated by the surfactant. So that is why we do not use daptomycin for the pneumonia due to the inactivation of the daptomycin by the surfactant if we look at the administration so actually daptomycin is administered through the iv root intravenous root that's the most important thing and daptomycin is actually excrete through the kidney so kidney function should be proper otherwise you will see the accumulations of the daptomycin inside the body due to the renal failure if we look at the adverse effects so first adverse effect is the liver transaminase disturbances okay you will see the liver transaminase disturbance like a l T. okay that is actually seen in the lft report okay next you will see the myalgia myalgia okay muscle pain and most important last and the most important daptomycin induced rhabdomyolysis so here is the most important rhabdo myolysis breakdown of the muscles but the important thing how can we know that the rhabdomycin is happening in the body of the patient we can check the rhabdomyces through blood test and that is actually creatine phosphokinase okay what type of blood test we do to check the rhabdomyolysis is the creatine Phosphokinase, also known as CPK. CPK test is used to check the rhabdomyolysis. Important thing which you have to remember: do not use statin along with the daptomycin. Statin is actually a drug that is used in the lowering of the cholesterol. So you will see. If someone take the statin along with the daptomycin, then you will see the exaggeration of the rhabdomyolysis in those patients. 
so that's why we will not use the statin along with the daptomycin to prevent the exaggeration of the rhabdomyolysis so this is all about the mechanism spectrum and the adverse effects of the daptomycin if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much